movements ready here for the half Ironman this weekend. I've been putting this to practice, so do not go into an event, don't go into a bodybuilding show without practicing. Like I, I, I always would laugh when people backstage at a bodybuilding show would be drinking wine, they'd be eating gummy beers, trying to dry out, trying to fill out. I'm like, have you done that during your prep? No, it's like, well, you're wondering why you're holding fluid because your body's going into shock. It's not, has no idea, it hasn't become accustomed to that profile of that food or that liquid or that supplement. So I've been practicing these supplements in the lead up. Some have been removed, some have been added, and I found a formula that's working for me. Now this is a half Ironman. This may change considerably for my full Ironman, okay? But let's start off with, um, obviously before the swim, I'm gonna have a big carbohydrate based meal. I'll have some oats, I'll have some recaged in there, very light protein and uh, yeah, maybe some Manuka honey on top of that. I'll have my usual green drinks in the morning that has my turmeric, my ginger, etc., etc. I'm gonna go into the supplements right now, anyway. So once I've got out of the swim, I go straight into the bike. In the bike sessions, I'm gonna have one bottle here that has my Hydra Charge. Let me just go through it. That has my Hydra Charge, my Glutamine, my Branch Chain Amino Acids, and my citrulline. Now I'll have in here about two scoops of hydrocharge, making sure that I have my electrolytes, my coconut water powder, staying hydrated. I'll have one gram of taurine in it to keep me awake as well, keep me um, present, because the last thing I want is my mind to wander and then I lose the rhythm of the rotation within the bike. I start you know, losing my posture. I need to stay focused that entire time. I'll also have glutamine in there. Now branch chain amino acids, I have found, funnily enough, this to be my key supplement when doing these uh, disciplines. I feel that I do not have the lactic buildup and I do not have the fatigue as I would uh, uh, with, uh, without it. So I always include branch chain amino acids as my number one supplement when I'm doing these three disciplines. So I'll have a scoop, one scoop, two scoops. When it comes to the citrulline, I'll have two scoops. I'll have four grams. So two grams per scoop, four grams of citrulline in there. Okay, now this I have, and in this bottle, this is another drinks bottle that I'll have on, on my Aero bars. This has exactly the same, identical, okay? Here, I have my nutrition, all right? So in my nutrition, I will have my recaged in here. I'll also have my BCAAs and my glutamine and uh, one scoop of hydrocharge, two scoops of the citrulline, and I'll have one scoop of the recaged in there as well. Now I'm testing some carbohydrates. Usually I eat bananas, but I've been testing a carbohydrate profile that I believe uh, works for me. So I've been testing that out and I'm gonna be testing it out on the bike as well, but mainly I'm gonna be eating solid nutrition on the bike as opposed to liquid uh, nutrition. So. Then it comes to the run, all right? So the run are these little bad boy bottles here. Now I'll need a bit of a pick-me-up. Now you can have pure calf caffeine by itself and you can have the same sort of combo shared between both of those bottles or you can do what I like to go for is the in-caged. I'll go for a serving of in-caged because that's when I'll want to have that extra oomph, that extra amp of energy and have my caffeine, which is my pure calf organic green bean caffeine. That's what I'll have there. When it comes to my solid nutrition, what can I say? These bad boys. I absolutely love these. Backcountry bars. Now I'll have these strapped to the bike and I'll have a couple of these. Um, you know, they read completely natural. So all I've got in here are rolled oats, dried fruit, uh, natural peanuts, apricots, plums, mangoes, dates, uh, eggs, uh, pumpkin kernels, roasted sunflower seeds, brown flax seeds, uh, roasted almonds, white sesame seeds, honey, and vanilla. And uh, yeah, it's bloody perfect. And just one more thing here, okay, is another form of nutrition I'll have, and it's called the picky bar, all right? So the picky bar is real good, and Sam Christensen, local triathlete, got me onto these, and I absolutely loved them. My stomach was fine with them. And in these, the ingredient profile, again, dates, uh, argave nectar, brown rice syrup, uh, rice protein, uh, protein from whole grain sprouted brown rice, 
uh, walnuts, cinnamon, sunflower, whatever, you get the idea, but again, a natural profile. So I've tested this nutrition and make sure that it works for me. What I'll probably do whilst I'm out there, I may have to refill a few of these bottles, dependent on how hot it is. It's supposed to be very hot. So I may refill a couple of these bottles. Now here, I have some sample ingredients. I'm not gonna go into them because I've been testing these bad boys out as well. Four cage muscle. I'm not gonna go into them right now because who knows if I'm gonna give them the thumbs up. So far, they've been going in the right direction. So I wanna give them to the test on race day as well. So far they've been agreeing with me then they've been working for me. And I'm taking lactate threshold tests every two weeks just to see if they are actually bringing down my lactate threshold, uh, my lactate uh, as, as they should be. So those bad boys are gonna go into my drinks as well. For the two days before in these containers, I'm gonna be drinking these supplements because I want to make sure that my body is continuing to be customized to the supplements that I'm taking. I don't like to take breaks and then get back on them. I like to continue that process of having uh, the nutrition in there. As I said, it's going to be very hot there. So when I go to the aid stations, I probably won't be eating any of the food that they give me. I'll be taking all the food with me, uh, but I will be taking bottles or uh, cups of water and pouring them on me down my back, down my chest keeping me cool the whole time, down my pants, you know. Um, and uh, I think that's about it in regards to the supplementation. This, like I said, this is what I've been testing, this is what works for me, so this is what I'm gonna be putting to the test and this is what's gonna get me across that Iron Man finish line so I can be announced, Chris Gethin, you're an Iron Man. Hey guys, Chris Gethin, I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you want more videos like this, you can find them on the Chris Gethin and Cage Muscle YouTube channels. And if you want the Cage Muscle products, you can find them on cagemuscle.com.